What's up YouTube? Jeff your Style OG. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about how that Pico should fit, and I'm gonna help you make sure you buy the perfect one. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap the notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends, like Ryan Garber, salute. Now, without a doubt, the one coat that I always recommend every guy needs in their wardrobe has to be that P coat. It's versatile, timeless, classy, keeps you warm, looking good, nothing a P coat can't do for you. But how do you make sure you have the right P coat? How should it fit? What should you look for in making sure you have a good one? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. I'm gonna break down everything to look for to make sure your P coat fits exactly right and the qualities you wanna look for when investing in one. So without further ado, let's talk about how that P coat should fit and how to buy the perfect one for you. Now, when you're going to the store to look for that P coat, there's a couple things I want you to look for before we get to how it should fit. First, let's talk about the materials it should be made of. Now, the optimum P coat will be made of 100% wool. Only problem with that, most newer coats aren't made with 100% wool. But here's where thrift shopping, vintage, and eBay comes in. Your older pea coats do tend to be made of 100% wool. Do some searching and you'll have one made of the best materials. However, that doesn't mean you can't find a quality pea coat in the newer versions. In a newer pea coat, you wanna look for one that's made of at least 80% wool and maybe 20% synthetic or other material. That 20% can be made up of things like nylon, polyester, but you want at least 80% wool. For example, this one I have from Banana Republic that I'm rocking, 80% wool, 20% poly. Also, you wanna make sure your peak coat is lined. A lot of cheaper ones try to get by without providing lining. You want this coat to look good and keep you warm. And as far as color, I definitely would go with navy first. It's your most versatile, most classic, but if you're not feeling navy, you can go gray or black. Just like with any other item of clothing when you go shopping for it, wear it to the store which you typically would wear with that item. For example, with a pea coat, you're gonna layer it a lot. As you can see, I have a sweater and a shirt under this pea coat. Fits well, because this is what I typically wear with the coat. Now let's break down how that pea coat should fit. And let's start with what you should do with every item that you wear on top. Start with the shoulders. Whether you're talking shirts, suit jackets, or coats, the shoulders are the most important, the most difficult to get tailored, and what you have to have. If the shoulders aren't right, put it back on the rack. A pretty simple way to know if the shoulder fits correctly. Look at the shoulder seam. You want it to fall right where the shoulder ends and where the bicep begins. If it's higher than that, the coat's too small. Lower than that, the coat's too big. The second thing I want you to take note of, sleeve length. You don't want a jacket that's too short where your layers beneath are showing. Remember with layering, your outside layer should be the longest. As opposed to with a suit jacket where you're gonna show a little cuff, with a pea coat, show no cuff. But you don't want it to be too long either where it's swallowing up your hands. Here's a good way to know. Put your hand straight down at ease. The length of the sleeve should barely start covering up the back of your hand. Our special video consultant today, Raja, doesn't let me leave the crib unless my coat fits right and wants to make sure you better have the right P coat fit. No, she's dead serious. She's not leaving the set unless you get it right. Next up, let's talk about the torso or the body of your coat. You want it to fit close, but not tight. When you button it up, you don't want it to be restricting your chest or your midsection. Move your arms around, see if you can move them freely. That coat fits pretty well. Now let's talk about the length of the body of the jacket. You want it to be shorter than your typical overcoat. An overcoat might come down to mid thigh. You don't want your pea coat to be that long. Your pea coat is a little shorter than typical coat that you might wear. A good rule of thumb, you want it to hit at the bottom of your fly or an inch or two higher. Cover your rear end or an inch or two higher. Remember, the pea coat is distinctively a little shorter than other coats. Next thing I want you to pay attention to, when you button up that pea coat, it should taper in a little bit like a suit jacket. Not as much of a taper as a suit jacket, but a slight taper. It should come in a little bit at your sides and then flare out slightly at your hips. Another good way to know if that pea coat fits well, when you button it up, the rows of the buttons on the jacket should line up very well. Nice even rows top to bottom. Also, when you button the jacket, the collar and lapel should lay flat on your chest. 
If it billows out too much, you're gonna get a lot of wind coming in on your chest, which isn't good when it's cold out. And last but not least, a little bonus tip for when you're wearing it. Just like when you wear a suit jacket, don't button the bottom jacket on your pea coat. Having that bottom button on the button shows off the great fit of your classic pea coat. Okay, so there you have it. My guide on how that pea coat should fit and how to buy the perfect one for you. Let me know in the comments section, do you keep a pea coat in your arsenal? As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button, help the channel to grow. And of course, tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos released every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, and I'll check you out tomorrow.